Hello guys, we are back and we are back with uh, our old friend Charval from Australia and we all know that we will beat them again in BGT series. Uh, uh, welcome Charval <laughs> to our sports it. shows. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. It's great to be back. And hopefully, Australia going to do it this time. Hopefully. No. <laughs> I think uh, uh, the score is levels. Last time, we have won BGT and you have won a uh, horrible, uh, horrible World Cup final for us. And you have won the bad World Cup final. Yes. Won, uh, on your own turf. Us. Yeah, on your own turf. What The anniversary oh. of that is in uh, three days, the 19th of November yes. coming up. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah. Oh, what a day. What a day that was. Hopefully some more success coming with the, the this Border Gavaska Trophy. Ten years. We haven't had the Border Gavaska Trophy for ten years. It's been way too long. So we need to get that back. Yep. We have okay. to win. It was, a, it was a nightmare for us. We don't want to remember that day. So. <laughs> you know what? The Border Gavaska Trophy has been a bit of a nightmare for us. So it's even. <laughs> it's even. <laughs> So, what's your prediction? Uh, uh, how do you see this series? Because both have both team have lost this their own series at their home ground. Uh, yeah. At ODI series, you have lost. We have lost the uh, series against New Zealand. You know, anyone can say any prediction. And you'd be like, yeah, that could happen because uh, you know India batting is a bit shaky. Our batting is shaky. I think we'll win. I think we'll win three one. Uh, the reason why I say that is India are missing a rock in the batting order, uh, like Pujara. He was the he was the key for you guys the last two tours. He's not there anymore. So who's going to hold it together? Maybe Virat can step up. If he does, then that's good news for you guys. But man, Pujara, Pujara just batted for ages. He, he we couldn't get him out. He batted twelve hundred balls the first tour, nearly a thousand balls the last tour. We couldn't get him out. We're sick of the sight of him. Uh, but now India, the batting doesn't seem as solid. But that being said, our batting is the same. Our batting is not that solid. But I think at home, the pitchers will do a little bit. Um, I think we'll, I think we'll win three one. That's my prediction. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Yes. I, I think, think the last test series which yeah. I saw na, when Shemar Joseph made that historical Gabba win. Yeah. So it made yeah. that Australian team is batters are struggling with quality fast bowling. And though this That's Indian true. team attack is inexperienced, but I still think since I have been reading a lot that tracks will be spicier this time, considering Indian batters are out of form. So I think that even evens up the space for Indian bowlers because their That's bowlers true. will need assistance. And Australian batting, as we all know, is currently lacking confidence. Na? Travis Head is the one, I think, if India can control him, rest, I think, are very... Uh, nah, apart from Smith, is also sometimes he's opening. Now he's not going to open, coming back to his number four slot. So there are certain changes. I'd, with wicket-keeping also, I think it's still uncertain whether Josh English will play or whether Alex Carey will continue. So India uh, have uh, that advantage. Yes. It has to be Alex Cricket. Carey. Alex Carey is the form batsman in the country. Believe it or not, in Australia, he's, you know, he hit 96 not out or 98 not out in his last test innings. He got us home against New Zealand back in March. He's been scoring runs in domestic cricket, scored runs in the ODIs in England. He's a key player for us. Uh, he'll definitely play. Um, but I agree with you. We need Smith and Manus at their best as well because Travis Head, you, you say, is very important. He is. But if he's coming in three for 10, three for 20, three for 30, we're in trouble. We need to set a platform for him. Otherwise, we're screwed. Yeah. Cameron Green missing the entire series. So who do you think? Do you think Mitchell March will be able to? Because he also has an injury problem. No? Yeah, he, yeah. he hasn't been bowling much. He, yeah, he has not been yes. bowling much. Yeah, that's a big problem for us too. Because, you know, there was there was a thought whether, you know, we, we you know, do we play a specialist batsman or bring in another all-rounder because Marsh is not bowling much? But I think what I've been hearing is Mitch Marsh will do some bowling in the series. Uh, but I don't think he'll be able to bowl like 10 overs in a day, probably be less than that. There's going to be work to do for the fast bowlers. So the key for India is keep the Australian bowlers out in the field as long as possible. Yeah. Whether you guys will be able to do that remains to be seen, though. So be, be interesting. If the 
tracks are spicier then i think both the batting teams will struggle i think oh, then i, I think, think it I will think, be, yeah you're then right then i think will be the decider facting will, will be could be a punch quick 50 or a they are a travis heads quick 50 if the tracks are such spicier which i have been hearing na because both the battings are shaky at shaky both the battings na but do you're you right. think five test series australia will go with the same bowling attack three quicks and nathan lyon or do you see a complete four quick attack in perth do you think nathan lyon will miss out and scott boland may get a game no uh, nathan lyon nathan lyon will play in perth he's got a very good record at that ground you know why the bounce so what what yeah. lyon is good at is not necessarily only the spin but the bounce he gets uh, so he'll definitely play at perth he's got a good record at off the stadium uh Pat Cummins, I think uh, I heard him say a few months ago that uh, if, if you're fit, the, the main bowlers will play. So unless there's an injury, I don't know if there'll be too many changes. But I would like to see Scott Boland at the MCG. Uh, Scott Boland is very good at that ground, uh, both in domestic cricket and what he's done in test cricket at that ground. So he could come in for a game or two if uh, the other's not performing or need a rest or have an injury or whatever. But I think uh, the bowling attack is pretty, pretty um, stable. as always but how long do you think this three will continue because they are playing so long they are quality bowlers mm. do you see they they have been their pace places are being pushed from domestic circuit do you think any youngster pushing them because it is they play all three formats that is the yeah. big problem for us so yeah so the new new crop is unable to develop we see good is now in domestic sorry not domestic against pakistan we saw some youngsters and in 2020 also but do you think that a time has come that uh, somebody needs to get a get in and these three need to go on rotational basis so yeah. that some experience can be given that's important that's important i think that's why the selectors tried to do that in the one day series against pakistan but they didn't do it the right way but they're trying to get some new guys in i think fast bowling is one of our key strengths because you look at even now in the t20s you got spencer johnson xavier bartlett nathan ellis that's a good trio in t20 cricket uh you got scott bowling michael nice is a fantastic player he can't get into the test team uh then you got jai richardson coming back lance morris is yeah. there there's some good under 19 bowlers that came through remember under 19s also won the world cup they had some yes. very good fast bowlers coming through they they're playing some sheffield shield cricket those guys at the moment domestic cricket so australia got some good fast bowlers coming through i don't really worry about our fast bowlers it's more our batting that that's we've got to get right going forward so it is decided that max sweeney is going to get five tests now yeah now if he is getting the debut i believe he is the one who will open alongside gusman khwaja after that he india will. game yes he will open um and i'm happy i i actually called for him a few weeks ago i i put out a video on youtube um and i was tweeting about it i said uh, let's play mcsweeney his technique is looks the best one of the best techniques uh, domestically in australia a uh, very very sound technique very similar to manus manus labushain very similar style and uh it's going to be very difficult to open the batting against bumra you know prashid krishna siraj akash deep these bowlers not going to be easy but technically he's got the game to succeed at test level and i'm happy he's going to get the five tests let's back him and see how he goes i think he'll do well so what do you make your was there any discussions of marcus aris also because yes. he has an experienced player played for australia against india last time around but this time yes. around yes yeah but yep yep there was there was discussion about marcus harris cameron bancroft even sam constus the youngster but too early for him but marcus harris was considered uh just inconsistent i think uh, marcus harris um very good at there's one particular ground in australia he's good at junction oval in victoria outside of there not very prolific inconsistent bit loose outside off stump yeah no doesn't quite score the runs he should uh, i think and that's why the selectors thought yeah maybe we'll try a new option here and and mcsweeney's 25 so he brings a bit of a young feel to the team everyone else is 30 and above yes so team is aging we can say the test side is aging now it is there's no doubt about it so it's not, you know it's not a bad thing to bring in some youngsters when you can 
so what you make of this indian squad we have quality youngsters many of them for all of them it is a big challenging tour but this tour can really make them reach them to the next heights in international cricket like jaiswal and gill they are good players they have made name for themselves but now i think this is the series that will decide ke whether they will be considered great or they will remain good there's no shortage of talent in that india team there's a lot of talent but whether there's the application to succeed here in australia when the pitches are going to be a bit more spicy that's going to be the challenge they're very talented players jaiswal has got the potential to be a great all format player gills very good um you know we all know about kohli has struggled the recent years but he can come good there's there's so much talent in this india team but whether you have the application to succeed here in australia the batting is going to be very very important uh, but the bowling attack is going to be important for india you could get some low scoring games you could get some low scoring games in the bowling <coughs> attack india is very very strong as well so um if the batters can 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 come in and there's been some key contributions oh. in there someone hold an end get some partnerships going there's definitely a chance india win this what do you make of the youngster dhruv jurel you must have seen him that in india yep. a game how do he you find him he's a, a, he he's a, me a lot. I, think, I think you should guys you should look to fit him in your 11 if you can i'd get him in uh he looks very very sound technically that was not an easy pitch in that australia a game and he stepped up he looked the best out of anyone if I'm, if I'm India, I'm, I'm trying to you know, get him into the 11. Maybe he looks a bit more assured than Safaraz Khan for these conditions in Test cricket. Um, I don't know if that's a bit harsh, but what do you guys think? Should, should Jarrell be in the 11? I, I will definitely pick him in my 11. Because in the games against England that he played, na, he, had, since yep. he, had, he showed a lot of calmness. And I think that's this Indian team needs... Need this team, mm. yes, this team needs calmness. Agree. So, mm. Anj- so our colleagues sir, have also joined, as you must have seen. So, Anjini, Bhaiya, any questions you want to put him in? Yeah, but uh, definitely not about the BGT. My first question is about uh, Australian winning uh, position, even in uh, Pakistan. So, how do you yeah. see these youngsters played so well in, in these conditions? So, do you see anyone who can uh, build a 2026 World Cup in India? These kind of uh, teams. In the T20s, yeah. I think, look, the bowling attack looks good. I, I like Ellis in T20 cricket, Spencer Johnson and uh, Xavier Bartlett. That, that's, that's, it's still early days, but that's an exciting trio of uh, fast bowlers. I think we should start to look at those sort of bowlers for T20 cricket. They all offer something different. Spencer Johnson took five for 26 today. And Ellis is very good at the death and Bartlett in the power play. So you got some good bowling there. Um, the thing with Australia, we've got some exciting batters. Probably got to look at our middle order in T20 cricket. We do lose a lot of wickets very quickly. Um, you know, we had a very good start today, but we lost a lot of wickets quickly in the middle. That's been a problem for us um, in T20 cricket over the years. So, yeah, but... I think there's some the, there's some exciting plays there with Fraser McGurk at opener Matt Short with him there. Um, maybe do we take Steve Smith into it 2026? We'll see. But yeah, we'd need some stability there in the middle, perhaps, and then some good finishing. Continue, Anjani. Uh, now, one question uh, I want to ask about Adam Zampa. How do you feel he has been going? Because consistently he is delivering success. He is always part of the white ball setup, whether the youngsters are getting in, whether experienced players are there. And he has consistently delivered results. So any any challenger coming up for his spot also, or do you see him playing for three, four more years? He still got two more years uh, in here. And his new hairstyle as well. Yeah, new hairstyle that came out. I don't know why he changed it. He had such nice hair last week. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he had nice hair. Uh, that's Zamps. He's always got a new style. Um, I, I think he's got a few more years in him. Uh, we've got like, you know, Tan V Sanga in domestic cricket who's a good leg spinner as well. There's a few good bowlers coming through as well and uh, some, from spin perspective, but I think Zampa will hang around for a bit longer, uh, at least till then, maybe even the 2027 20, uh, ODI World Cup 
and the 26 uh, T20 World Cup. I think he'll be in those tournaments. He's so important to us. Uh, very consistent. Bowls a good length. Um, and just, yeah, doesn't go, doesn't often get hit for too many. Not too often. So helps the captain out for sure. Okay. For me, Matlab, uh, for me, question is about BGT is uh, what kind of atmosphere in Australia this time in BGT? Because you lost uh, consecutive series in home condition. So what kind of atmosphere and what kind of thinking this time for Australia? But there's this big hype for in Australia for the Border Gavaskar Trophy. You know, there's been debates about our team in the one day game and the T20s, but everyone's looking forward to the test matches. You can see it on social media. You, you know, a lot of debates on who the opener should be. Lots of debates and chats about the series. I think this time there'll be spicier pitches. I think the last few years there's been a lot of movement in the Australian pitches. Uh, you've seen the bowlers have a really good, um, really good success. Even Pakistan last year when they were here, uh, Amir Jamal and uh, a lot of these bowlers had success. Mir Hamza, and then of course Shamar Joseph the same yeah. summer ripped through us so yeah um you know it could be i think unless there's rain i don't see a draw in any of the test matches here uh it could be a three two either way <laughs> could be very close uh where you get um you know the fast bowlers are gonna they're both very good fast bowlers both teams so you know you need the big guys from both sides to step up whether it's steve smith for australia virat Kohli for india these guys have got to lead the way and patient batting is what's needed. Everyone wants to score at a strike rate of 100, 120 now. You know, instead of knuckling down and be patient, it's all right to, you know, go slow for an hour or two and then settle into your innings. People have lost the art of that. Everyone wants to bat 1,000 miles an hour. I don't think people have lost the skill to bat long. Like Pujara did, as I mentioned earlier, he was key the last yeah. two times in the Border Gavaska Trophy. He was the important player. So we'll see what happens this time, man. It's going to be good. Okay, Charvan. Yeah, and what are you? Oh, one question. Also. I want to ask a question. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Charvan, imagine okay. if you lose, if you lose another series against India in Australia, uh, which type of changes we will see in Australia, a Australian team? Uh, it, it will it be a question against Pat coming captaincy also? Oh, don't. Don't give me that possibility. I might go into hiding if we lose again. That'll be five in a row. Um, uh, look, it depends. Yeah, it could be. It could be some questions on his captaincy, even though he's done well for us. He's won us a World Cup and and all these things and a World Test Championship. But there'll be questions about his captaincy. It depends. If we bat really badly, there'll be questions about our experienced players. You know, if Steve Smith doesn't do well, is he going to come to the end? Manus, what's going to happen there? It depends how we lose. If we lose really badly and the batting's terrible, we might look at some new players coming in with the bat. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. We, we've got to win this series. It's very important. You can tell our energy and our focus for the last five, six months has been on this series. It really has been. Um, trying to get everyone fit and ready for it. So we're ready. And fingers crossed we get the job done. We, we are also ready to break your heart again. Oh, uh, please. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> you have broken our listen, India, 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 yeah. listen, my, my, in India have got problems with the with the bat as well. You know, you don't lose three nil at home to New Zealand if there's no sort of issues there. So I think this is where Australia have got to pounce, in my opinion. There's some issues there with the batting from India. There doesn't seem to be the same solidity as there has been in recent years. No. This is where we've got no, to pounce. No, I tell you, according to me, now, India lost to New Zealand because we didn't give them enough respect, I feel. We Possibly. didn't cared about the, cared them about them as an opposition until the final test. I tell you, until the final morning in Mumbai, I think India realized when they lost that Sarfaraz wicket, na, that they are some white wash is going to happen. Prior to that, India because me, the captain was also giving the statements like, in 12 years there is a first series loss, it can happen. But I think the bell started to ring. Bell started to ring when there was 29 for 5 and then whitewash was seen coming. I think then only Indians realized what they have done. Because I tell you, in first innings they got bowled out for 46. Then they got them to 220 for 7. They all they thought they will come back in the game. Yeah. Again, they yeah. let the game slip from there. 
yeah then they batted well in the second innings got rid of the deficit again they thought they will be able to control the game yeah. again second new ball then they thought let us prepare the rank turners and then again mitchell center tipped that game away so mm. they were not they were not respecting the opposition i think that was the main reason of us and <laughs> rather than improving their game na they just thought ke someone will perform someone will perform and that no one no one performed actually so mm. i hope lessons have been learned from there because i don't think australia is such a team that you don't give that respect but that was no. one of the reasons that we lost and if you ask me this loss series loss was about to come some day or the other because na no, our tail or you yeah that three nil is hurting a bit but ashwin jadeja these were the guys who were winning us the series consistently at home and this time around they didn't score with the bat in this series if you look that's true ashwin jadeja that's true because so that, uh, yeah because i remember rohit saying that these collapses don't happen often but they actually have happened the top order collapsed a lot even at home even but then the, the lower order getting you out lower order Yeah. Akshar Patel, yes. Lower order yeah. was helping us all around the time, sure. and we were not actually being harsh on our batters. We were not demanding more from them because we were winning the series comfortably. So this think, came as uh, an eye opener to all of us. Anjani, Ankit, uh, bhai, Charval old tweet is also gone viral when he tweeted against uh, when we are playing when were we playing against uh, England. uh in england we were uh, indian original batting start from akshar patel i think in uh, if, 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 if i think in february you have tweeted about that am yes I, am i right hey. <laughs> yeah 100% because we know about akshar patel you know we we were on top last year in the border gavaska trophy when it was in india uh and akshar patel broke our hearts we were we were right in the game and he scored runs down the order we were on top at delhi uh looking for a big lead and then we got smashed because Akshar Patel scored runs down the order and we collapsed in our second inning so yeah um it's still concerning for India to lose 3-0 at home but i want to yeah. ask a question because from an australian perspective i have not seen a lot of media attention on Rohit yes. Sharma and the coach not at all i think i think if, if that was Virat Kohli man they'd be on him you he- or if the opposition had been anyone other than new zealand na if the yeah, opposition yeah. had been australia say if australia had won 3 nil na rohit sharma would have lost his captaincy by now people would have been after virat kohli's life to retire because <laughs> sure because yeah. again 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 i'm telling you na new zealand not getting that respect ke it's mm. just a side their media is also not so much na making this a uh, big thing about it whereas if you see english media or australian media they yeah. would have really created hype around that that if such a result would have occurred so But you expect the indian media to that that's my point you expect the indian because new zealand hadn't won there since 1988 a single test match mm. since 1988 yes. so for them to come you know, no one could have predicted 3-0 to new zealand no nobody one. nobody could no have said no one saw it coming yeah so it's yeah i thought i thought the media was quite soft i mean they're praising him for a press conference I go usually yes. India high standards yes, yes. they don't praise a captain for a press conference or you know these little things they praise a captain for delivering good performance on the field so interesting I must say yes you are right there is bias if it had happened in Virat Kohli's regime oh. people would have been after his life yep. so yeah yep. different people from different states being treated differently you can say Virat Kohli is from respect. Uh, he deserves lot a lot more, of respect. Lot more, lot more, lot more captain. respect. And he, he gets respect. all that respected from foreign media, na? Beat Australia, beat England media. Yeah. He gets that respect. It's only in Indian media that we are after his life. <laughs> well, Virat Kohli is all over the newspapers here in Australia. I don't know if you guys have noticed. It's all about Virat Kohli here in the newspapers and in the media here. So he's a very big, uh, very big player here in Australia. He's considered. India's best player here. Um and what he did as captain though amazing because he drove a different culture in Indian cricket. And if you can't see that then you're biased in my opinion because even from an outsider and a lot of people feel the same way what Virat did as captain he drove a new belief, drove the fast bowlers, drove fitness. 
he did a great job. Doesn't get the respect he deserves a lot of the time. Absolutely right. Yes, yeah, Sharval. Uh, I just want to ask you these kind of things. Uh, you talking about you talking about uh, Australian media respect Virat Kohli, newspaper all around headline put Virat Kohli. So, is this anything kind of a uh, mind game? He is praising a lot. Uh, he is a uh, mind game to cut off Virat Kohli's own pressure. So, how do you see that kind of thing? I think he, I think his network has gone. He will join soon. He will. Join. I think yes, Australia yes. knows. No. Australia knows it's better to keep Virat Kohli calm. <laughs> you you are a I, mute man. I also want to. Charbel. 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 Yes, yes, we can uh, hear you. Now. Actually, for yeah, if, you, if you poke Virat Kohli, the thing is, if you poke Virat Kohli and fire him up, you're getting in big trouble. <laughs> you just got to praise him, keep him happy, <laughs> and then we'll see what yeah. happens. <laughs> don't, don't fire and him Michel, up. <laughs> and Michel Mars also says, Michel Mars also says, we poke Virat Kohli when he go when he come thirty, score thirty. Yeah, yep. So we'll, we'll see. We'll just let him be. Praise him, you know, and then hopefully we get him out early. We don't want him to score big. <laughs> we don't want him to score too big. But we, uh, I want to say that if we factually analyze the last test series between India and New Zealand, also media outlet have almost ignored the fact that New Zealand had done very well, uh, especially with the new players also uh, against India. So I uh, just want to say that. Uh, <clears throat> Before also we were discussing about that that if uh, in India does not improve on their mistakes regarding the previous series, then uh, uh, they can also lose the BGT uh, 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 streak also because the last four BGT streak. If I go from 2014, I I guess I may yeah. be wrong. Uh, they have completely out uh, uh, outsmarted Australia in that. So this time there may be a very tough battle between Australia and uh, India. So. I want to just ask a simple question: That uh, do you think that this time, after losing a series, will India fight back against Australia, or will Australia be uh, fighting uh, mo with more power against India? Sorry, I'm telling fighting, playing against uh, yeah, more yeah. powerfully. I think uh, India will show some thinking? fight. I think I expect India to show fight, but I think Australia will prevail. I was telling the guys my prediction at the start is three-one to Australia. The reason why I say that is because um, the guy that was so important for you guys, and we're sick of the side of him here, was Pujara. Uh, that's what I was saying to the guys, that he was yeah. the guy that was the rock, holding the innings together. Um, he batted for ages. And then that enabled the guys around him to score. Now there isn't the same sort of stability in India. And I know Australia don't have the same stability as well with the bat, but we're at home and I think we'll get the job done. I think it'll be some close games in there. But I think Australia might just get over the line in a couple of the games and go 3-1. So that, that's what I reckon. But I expect India to show some fight. If India don't show fight and roll over and put a poor performance, then I think your captain needs to be questioned and your coach as well. There's got to be some question marks asked about them. So what is the Australian be, point of view of India's coach? Yeah. Sorry, Tushar, just hold. Gautam Gambhir is also famous for it. Fiery statements is already shot one at Ponting, and Ponting mm. has accepted that because he has coached him in Delhi. So, what is the yeah. views about India's coach? Because he hasn't scored a match in Australia in tests, I believe, mm. but he speaks a lot. 22 Very average. I think, I think I think 22 average in Australia in test matches. Mm. Gautam Gambhir uh, wasn't yeah. the best overseas from memory, Gambhir. Yeah, um, yes, yes. Yeah, we see him as a fiery character and he's having a go at Ponting and saying that Ponting should only talk about Australian cricket. Well, I remember Gamby talking about Pat Cummins. What was it, last year? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you're like, come on, man. You're talking about Australian cricket then. So what's the difference? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know he's a fiery character here. And I've seen some predictions about, like, I remember Joginder Sharma, he bowled the last ball in the 2017 20 World Cup. He actually predicted a few months yeah. ago that Gambi will not last as coach uh, because he's going to disagree with a lot of people. And it was an interesting yeah. statement. But maybe we're seeing that. Maybe we're seeing people are not on the same page. Brendan Julian from Fox Cricket was saying that Vera Cole is not gelling with the captain and the coach. I yeah. don't know if it's true, 
Uh, but it seems to be the case because if you're losing test matches at home like that, maybe there's some issues. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this series. There could be some drama between Gambier and someone in this series. I'm going to bet on it. There could be some drama between Gambier and someone. Yeah. There is always so, friction between the uh, coach and the players. Could be. Could be. So if India don't perform well in this series, he might not. Yeah, his, his position might be in a bit of trouble. So, Charbal, my next question is how patient is Australia's think tank? Let's suppose India play well in Perth, able to get a win, 1-0 up. Then do yep. you think how much patience will they show? Do, will they carry on with the same sort of 11 for the series or do you see young batters may also get a look in quickly? Because what I am hearing, MCG also, I think they have changed. Na? The track would be more spicy. Yes. This time around, because MCG is the track where India have constantly won in last two occasions. It is Boxing Day test is actually suiting us because of the mm. previous history of the pitch. So, do you see MCG also this time around slightly changed? Because for last two times it was supporting Indian style of play slightly. You can was, say, yeah. Yeah. So recent years the MCG pitch has been a lot more bowler friendly. Even this season, we, you know, you guys would have seen the India A game. Definitely bowler friendly. It's been like that in Sheffield Shield cricket as well. Definitely more bowler friendly. That's the fourth test of the series. So there's still the Adelaide one with the day-night test there and then the Gabba and then Melbourne. So, um, look, if, if, if Australia performed badly in the first game, I think the selectors will stick with the team. I don't think they'll change too much uh, because who do you remove? Who do you drop? They won't drop Smith. They won't drop Manus. They won't drop Usman. Travis Head, Mitch Marsh, Alex Carey. They'll stick with that and then try to get it right for the next test. But we need to start well. Can't be starting badly. Perth, we're usually pretty good there. Not easy against Australia on the bouncy pitch. And a lot of our players have got a very good record at that ground. So we've got, to, we've got to start well. Because the problem was last time when we bowled India up for 36 and then won that first test, we led India back into the series. We can't afford to give India any sort of uh, start early in the series. We've got to be strong straight away. No doubt about it. Got to be on it straight away, man. No breathing room for the tourists. So before we end, let us do a quick rapid fire from all, every one of us here. Aniket, we start from you. You tell me for both the sides, huh? like leading run scorer. Who do you think will be the leading run scorer for India as well as Australia? So let me start with you, Aniket. Who do you think is the leading run scorer for yes, India? Jaswal yes, from well? India. Jaswal uh, uh, from India. And I think from Australia, it could be a Travis Head or Steve Smith. Hmm. Okay. Tushar? From India, uh, I will say that this time, uh, Subman can be a performing asset for the Indian team because last uh, BGT series uh, he has done very well. But maybe he will not play the, the first goal. match. He is not. He is uh, th that is a, uh, uh, that yeah. can be a uh, uh, I say fact. But uh, I think uh, Subman Gill, if he plays, then he can. Otherwise, I rely on SSV Gill. Uh, sorry, SSV Jaiswal. And from uh, Australia, Australia, I will say. And from Australia, I would say Travis Head. Okay, Charbel, what are your views on the leading run scorer? I think Rishabh Pant and uh, Travis Head. I think, but I'm not sure two because left. I think I think those two players can score quickly in the middle and score some good runs. Uh, top order batting might be tough in this series, so I think those two players could be the difference makers. Yeah, what do you think? Yes, sir. From Australia, I think it's Travis Head. And from India, Virat Kohli. Okay. So I have a different view. I think for India, it would be Dhruv Jurel. And from yeah. Australia, if, it will be... If Dhruv will play five matches, then he will be the, uh, he will be the highest. Score. I if think he, he has already match. shown on a tough track. Na, he has already shown that he can survive. So it is... He, I think he will play. He, whether he then plays or not remains to be seen. But I think he should play. And hmm. from Australia, I think uh, Manas Labushin will be good. I think. I think a Manus lot of time will have a good series. Fingers crossed. I've he got started to bowl him. also now. I have seen him started to bowl also now. Yeah. Medium fast. He was bowling. I think. 
too much focus on bowling. Got to focus on scoring runs first. That's the mm -hmm. most important thing. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, so for batting sure, with you. Yeah. I yeah, I want to yeah, ask you about one question. Do you think Australia are too rely on and too dependent on Travis Head in any format, in T20, Test or ODI, in any format for last two years? He is scoring run all over. So do you think Australia too rely for Travis Head? I don't know if we're too reliant on him, but he's very important. You're right. Um, we can't afford to be too reliant on him in this series. We need others to step up. Uh, but I think yeah. um, Alex Carey has done well for us. Yeah, um, yeah. I think even Mitch Marsh, when he since he's come back into the test team, has been good. Yes. Usman Khawaja at the top has been solid. So there's other players performing there. We need Smith and Manus performing. They've yeah. been out of form for too long. So, um, yeah. yeah, you're right. There's been a bit of, um, you know, Travis Head focus a lot. But if we can, the thing is for me, we've got to set up a platform for him. Yeah, if we get him in three for 150, three for 200, that's good. You know, then the, the bowlers are a bit tired and he can sort of put the foot on the accelerator there. But if he's coming in very early, we're in trouble. We need to set a platform for him. Because last two, three games, uh, you you take uh, Travis Head. When he, whenever he plays against India in 2023 World Cup final, he can yep. score. Uh, in T20 World Cup 2024, he even yes. score. Yes. So I think Travis Head loves India. He does. Any in, team with Rohit Sharma in, in it. <laughs> in any manner. <laughs> any team with Rohit Sharma, whether it's Mumbai Indians, India, whatever, yeah. he does well. <laughs> uh, hopefully it continues, man. We need it to continue. <laughs> so from batting, let's shift to bowling. Who do you think will be the leading wicket taker? Uh, uh, me? Leading wicket taker from... Uh, from Both the sides. Awesome. Both the uh, side. Uh, okay, from India, I think it will be Akash Deep. Uh, if he will play five matches, uh, or and from from Australian side, it could be Josh Hazelwood for bad comments. Hmm. Chabal, who do you think will be the leading wicket taker this series? I think uh, Cummins and Bumrah. They're too good, both of them. Tried and tried and tested geniuses. Yeah. Anjali, what yeah. do you think? Who do you think? Ankit, by the boom will create pressure, and Akashdeep will uh, use that pressure. Yeah, possibly, think. possibly, but on these <laughs> pitches, possibly, but on these pitches, Bumrah is going to be so hard to handle, man. I think he'll take a lot of wickets. Yeah, for me in India, Bumrah and Akashdeep, and in Australia, Cummins and Hazelwood, definitely. So if picks. Boland plays, if Boland play five Test matches. So you can choose, choose him. Yeah, Bowler won't play five test matches. No. He will play the MCG one though. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. <laughs> I think for India it can be Siraj because I think he's been underestimated at this time around, yeah. and and I, I think he has a point to he has a point to prove because his place is under jeopardy. Let me tell you. If he play, if he has one more bad series, you can possibly see him out of this Indian side, because he has not been able to provide breakthroughs to the team as and when required. So I think time for him to start to step up. This is the place where he really started his career, made a name for himself, and then had a great journey. So I think time has come back. Now he needs to fire again. For yeah. Australia, I think. Third time also it will be Pat Cummins. For past two series, he is the leading wicket taker in Australia. Australian yep. side, he was the man of the series for last two times around. I think he's yep. going to create a hat trick this time around. Let's hope he does not take the trophy along with him. So Charbel, <laughs> let me ask you if the series is drawn, let's suppose if the series is drawn by any chance, 2-2, two -two, then what you make of the WTC chances of both these teams? Because India needs to win at least 4 nil, which I doubt will Yeah, happen. no, India 2-2 but... two, two is not good enough for India. Um, and then for Australia, we've got to probably win 2 nil in Sri Lanka, to be honest. From yeah, there. and it's very difficult in Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah absolutely. In goal, very tough. Um, so we yeah. need to do well in this series. If, if it's a draw in this series, I don't think we'll make the World Test Championship final because I don't think we'll beat Sri Lanka 2 nil. I think they'll probably win at least one test against us on the turning pitches. 
So because South Africa have but a good run, you know, they've got to run at home and yeah. Sorry, what was that? Hey, I want uh, Australia to be a part of WTC final. We want to take revenge. Yeah. How do you know you're going to be there? You're not going to be there. <laughs> we were very sure. We were very sure before the New Zealand tour. No? We, had, that's right. we were, uh, we were only thinking of BGT. Anymore. You've got to win four <laughs> games here in Australia to make it. It's a big, big task. <laughs> Good luck. I <laughs> hope some results go our way. <laughs> some uh, team loses here and there. So oh, looked, before we certain India would make it, but yeah, three 0 at home to New Zealand. Like, I, uh, I too have one question before we wrap it up. Uh, sure. You, uh, you are in, matlab, what is your views on Champions Trophy coming up? You are an outsider. Mm -hmm. You must have heard yeah. that India have. Yeah. India we won't be traveling to Pakistan. So now you like we are from India. We have our views. So what is your view on that? To first of all. The thing is, it's always tricky with India, Pakistan. It's always complex. It's not as easy to say, oh, India, go travel to Pakistan. If the government's telling you no, uh, then there's always a challenge about it. And if there's an open threat, then there's always it's always tricky. You don't want anything to happen to anyone. But at the same time, I have seen other Indian teams from other sports go. So that makes it a bit confusing for me. Why is cricket treated differently? But that's probably another thing. But in terms of the overall champions trophy, it cannot go out. It cannot go on without India. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. The cricket finances, the broadcasting deal with uh, Star Sports and the ICC. That's because India are involved. If India are not there, then that affects the broadcasting deal. It affects the revenue. It affects the revenue distribution to every country in the world. So there's different flow-on effect to India not being there. So it's easy to say cancel India. Don't don't uh, let them participate. But because they, they generate 85% of the revenue for the ICC, there's a snowball effect. There's other things to consider. So I think they've got, got to do a hybrid model. I think that's probably what they'll do. I'd be upset if they move it from Pakistan altogether and go to another country. That wouldn't be nice. I think Pakistan are the hosts. If India don't want to travel and you need India in the tournament, see if you can do a hybrid model and make it work. That's my view. What do you guys think? Yeah. I only have one opinion. See, security concern for us is much larger than other yes. nations. Is. is only yeah. because <clears throat> Pakistan does not do terrorism in other countries. It does what it does in India, right? So for us, now the feeling of being in a mutual relationship with them is harsh because we mm. have seen our near and dear ones losing lives every now and then. So if yeah. you ask me, threat for India is much much larger as yeah. compared to yeah. Matlab, yeah. other countries and i hope other countries also have a very safe tour over there because you no know, security conditions are such over there i'm sure they are improving and they will improve yeah. and the tournament gets unaffected because but we have seen in past what incidents have occurred there yeah. and i also hope that pakistan does not lose the tournament because they are also slowly and slowly getting international cricket back. But I think if they don't accept the hybrid model as their current chairman says, then they perhaps will lose that or will lose that all. Hmm. If senses don't prevail. Yeah. Yeah. So Anikit, you were asking something before we uh, I have, wrap I it have up. two questions. I have one one question about IPL auction and another one. About BGT, correct me if you if I am wrong, Charbon. Australia was in the same uh, same situation in 2000 as so 2013 SS, okay. uh, and Mitchell Johnson was. Uh, uh, you know what what, uh, what happened to Mitchell yeah, Johnson and what he has done to England. Who do you think uh, uh, from Team Australia uh, could be the uh, player like Johnson in this BGT if it it could happen? Hmm. Oh man, because Johnson was amazing. He was scary. Uh, I mean, if Mitchell Stark can go on a madness and, and do that job, um, maybe be the enforcer and Cummins and Hazel will do their thing, possibly. I think look at Mitchell Stark because he hasn't been very good in Border Gavaska Trophy over the years. His record is not great. So this is a good opportunity for him to step up and bulk. He's been bowling quick in the domestic cricket and in the lead up to this series. He's been in the ODIs against Pakistan. His pace is up. So he's my he's my player to watch as well. 
let's hope as a uh, last question uh, it was for as a australian how do you think uh, how do you look uh, ipl auction 2024 and IPO auction is fun. It's it's interesting. This is going to be a big one. There's some big players in in the auction this year. Kyle Rahul, Rishabh Pant, etc. Oh, it could be a madness this year with uh, who goes where. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think we'll we'll look to see which teams have uh, uh, the upper hand after the auction. I think I was surprised by a few of the retentions. I think Rajasthan Royals surprised me a little bit with their retentions. Um, because they didn't keep Butler, they didn't keep Trent Bolt, and they put a lot of money into Hetmeyer and Jurel. I think 25 crores on those two players. That's surprising. That's I think more than more. that. Yeah, maybe even more than that. So, man, uh, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here from uh, from the auction. But I'm looking forward to it. It's next week, I think it is. During one yes, of the tests. During the first test, it will be. During yeah. the first test, that's right. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We'll keep an eye on that. See which Aussies go away. Yeah. Be fun. Uh, uh, RCB will win IPL 2025 or not? Oh, we've got to see what they do in the auction, man. <laughs> we've got to see what they do in the auction first. <laughs> I, I hope so for RCB fans because they've been waiting a long time for the men's team to win. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> um, you know, imagine if the, the, the they win the IPL. It'll be madness. You know, it'd be crazy. It will be. May they it win can be a government a government holiday also next day. You never know. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> if they win. We'll, see what, we'll see what happens. We'll see. I'll make a judgment on everything after the auction. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Hopefully, so let's see, let's see, guys. We Char will hope to see you throughout the BJT. We will yeah, try okay. to discuss all the tests once the games are over and analyze what went right and what went wrong. So thank yep. you, thank you very much for taking time out for us. We know it's night and over there. No worries. Thank you for it. No worries. It was Thanks a pleasure to meet you again after a long time. Nah, pleasure. Thank, thank you, thank you very guys. much. Thank you, go the Aussies. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Charlie. Bye bye. Thank you, thank bye. you. Bye.